But what about uh, what about um, tea in Japan? So I'm going to introduce you to some of the different kinds of tea in, in Japan. And I'm just going to do what I did before. I'm just going to like scroll down to the different... Um, all right, ready for showtime. So this is green tea. This is regular, regular old green tea. But the difference is, the difference is, it has a very, very clear color. Like everyone who sees this tea knows this is Japanese green tea, not Taiwanese green tea, because there's different kinds of green tea in Taiwan and China. Um, and of course, there's different kinds of green tea in Japan, but there is a very specific Japanese green tea that always looks this color. And a lot of tea just doesn't have a lot of... Um, like sediment in it, not usually, but uh, Japanese green tea always has a little bit. If you look in the picture, you can see that there's a little bit of like a dust in the bottom of the tea that comes that comes from the tea leaves. So it is so good. But of course, but of course, if we're talking about famous Japanese green tea, we're talking about the green tea that they drink during a specific tea ceremony that is very, very different than the Taiwanese tea ceremonies and the Chinese tea ceremonies. The Japanese tea ceremony is very unique. But so is so is the tea that they drink, which is called matcha. And matcha is prepared very differently than your typical tea. Very differently. And matcha, matcha is a powder, and it's also a very, very, very bitter tea. And what's, uh, what's interesting about this tea is what most Westerners know of matcha is from, like, ice cream. Matcha ice cream, or it'll just call it green tea ice cream. But what it is, it's a, it's it's got a very specific, very particular flavor. If you've ever tasted it, you know what, right away what it is. It's a very unique uh, flavor. I love matcha green tea, but most Westerners have never drunk actual, original, genuine matcha. If they did, they would like it because it's very, very bitter. And you don't drink it like, you know, for breakfast in the morning. You don't you don't drink it like, oh, you know, I think I could use some tea right now. I'm just gonna drink this cup of matcha. You don't you're supposed to drink it in a very specific cup made for drinking matcha. And you're supposed to take your time with it. You're supposed to sip it and enjoy it and think about it. You're not supposed to just do shots of matcha. You're not supposed to. Um, it's not the way. And even if you did, most Americans wouldn't even couldn't handle it because it's too bitter. It's not sweet. There's no sugar. There's no cream. It is literally tea leaves mixed with oats and popcorn. I'm not joking. It's it's roasted rice tea. It's made from um, bar barley rice and popcorn. Yeah, I said it. Popcorn <laughs> and uh, 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 seems like very very dry uh, tea. But together, it's supposed to give kind of like a more smoky, rich flavor to your tea. I love it. But not all the time. It's it's kind of it's like a sweet. It's it's a little bit sweet. It's not a sweet tea, but it's kind of sweet. It's a little bit sweet. I like it. I like it like once. Then there is hojicha. And hojicha is a very dark brown tea. And uh, what is that made from? Um, yeah, it is made from green tea that's been literally been baked. 
Green tea that's been stuck in an oven for a really long time. I'm not kidding. And that's why this tea has a very like a brown color to it. And it's got a very kind of like a like a a little bit of like a barbecue taste to it. Yeah, it's good. It's good. But again, it's it's one of those teas that I don't like. I don't drink very often. I like to have it once in a while, but it's not a morning tea. And but also, hoji cha, cold hoji cha, is great. Like on an afternoon when it's hot and it's in the summer, and you just want something with a little bit of caffeine, but it's not gonna make you feel nervous or anxious, you know. But uh, so it's a it's a good iced tea to have. It's a ice good cold cold tea to have in the summer. Muji cha. Muji cha. Actually, no, sorry, Mugi Cha. It's Mugi Cha. No, I said it wrong. I forgot my Japanese. Oh my God. This isn't even tea. It's roasted barley grains. You know, barley that we use to make bread, rye bread. And it's, and, and they're roasted and then it's, and then it's steeped for like a really long time. And so, you drink this and the tea looks like whiskey. There's no caffeine in it. And honestly, you don't need sugar, but a lot of people put sugar in it. I don't think you need sugar because it's already like a very mellow flavor. Again, I like to drink this hot sometimes in the afternoon as kind of like a snack. Like it fills you up a little bit. It's actually... Like a little bit, it's a little bit like a snack tea. You don't need it to eat anything with it. This is enough. Um, but it's good to, to have on the afternoon or in the evening uh, because there's no caffeine in it. It's, it's safe to do. But I also like to drink this cold. And this summer, I might be making some. I might be making some this summer. Uh, and then finally, the last one is uh, oolong tea. And the thing is, oolong tea in Japan is not the same as oolong tea in China. Um, it's it's just it it is it is it is from China, but it's one kind of it's a one variety of oolong tea that that everybody in Japan just drinks, uh, and it's got this this very unique color. Everyone in Japan knows this color. They look at this drink and they go, oh, that's oolong tea. But if you ask somebody from Taiwan, they'd be like, I, I'm going to guess it's oolong, but I don't know what kind. Because so, like I just said, when I was talking about Taiwanese tea, there's so many different varieties and kinds. Um, they all look very different. So a lot of oolong tea looks green. When I drink, when I drink tea in the afternoon um, here in my jack detroit studios live stream uh it looks green so there you go so that that is japanese tea and one thing i want to say about tea in japan and in taiwan is you can get bottles of it like like you're getting a soda you get bottles of it and there's so many different companies with so many different varieties of bottles of of you know hot or iced uh, cold because yeah, they're stuck in a fridge, I get a refrigerator. You could get it in any convenience store, any grocery store. So many different varieties of it. It's great, but we don't have that here in the West or in Europe. We don't. We don't have that. We. That's not our way. Um. So I kind of I, I I miss that. I miss that part of living in Asia where could, I could just go to the convenience store and just get like a bottle of tea, and I and I'd do that like. Several times a day, you know, but I can't do that anymore, and I and I miss that. So that is going to be the end of my discussion about tea in Asia.